I really wanted to look for them to find out more about myself and uh, that I did for sure find out. I found out that. What up my squad, it's Wisdom Wednesday. We back on NICK, now I control karma. You already know what it is, let's get into this. You know what, I actually don't have a Wisdom Wednesday, but I do have something that I wanna talk about. A few steps that you can take to find your biological family. Every single day, I probably get a story on someone who is either looking for their biological family or has already found their biological family. These are just a few steps you can take to start that process. Before we get started with this video, make sure y'all smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell right next to it, and drop me a comment down below. Yeah, y'all, so I probably get at least one to two messages a day talking about adoption or someone looking for their biological family or someone who has found their biological family because they either heard my story on Coffee Convos or they saw it here on YouTube. People ask me all the time, like, how can I get started? What should I do? What steps do I need to take? So this video is kind of well overdue, so I decided to go ahead and do this instead of Wisdom Wednesday. Um, but we're going to get back to Wisdom Wednesday next Wednesday. Day. One of the first steps I would say to take would to take a DNA test either on Ancestry or 23andMe. There's a few different websites that you can actually take a DNA test on and that'll be like solely up to you. What I did was use Ancestry. It did link me with people who were related to me. They weren't my biological parents though. But that does not mean that you won't find them through Ancestry. I had friends who did a DNA test and they linked with like a cousin and the cousin knew their parents. So um, you just never know. So definitely start with a DNA test first and foremost. Oh yeah, speaking of Ancestry, I also have half siblings because my biological father's a Rolling Stone or whatnot. Anyways, one of my half brothers recently hit me up and he looks just like us y'all like it's crazy I might drop his picture. I don't know um, He hasn't reached out to me after he reached out to me So I wrote back to him, but he hasn't wrote me back again So I'm really waiting to hear from him. So I don't know if I should put his picture out there yet um, But yeah, that happened not too long ago and that's from ancestry He took a DNA test and it linked us as siblings when I was on the search a lot of people told me to go to my old birth records And I didn't listen. I didn't go to my through my old birth records And I'm pretty sure you can if you know where you were born um, I knew where I was born. I just didn't make the time to do that instead I took it to social media So it's really really up to you if you have access to your birth records I guess that'll be a route to take I wouldn't be able to help you as far as your birth records because I didn't go through that process Another step to take would definitely be to go through social media Social media is so powerful nowadays and almost everyone is on it. So if you never know, you might know somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody that can help you. You know, that's exactly what happened to me. So on social media, I made a video and the video went viral on Facebook. One of my friends from high school actually saw this lady linking people with their past family members. And she was like, she tagged me in. She was like, hey, you should reach out to her. I reached out to her. And then literally not long after, she helped me find my biological family. So. Um, that's one thing that you can do if you look up America's taken on Facebook That's the person who helped me find my biological family. I'm not sure if she can do the same for you I mean she's had other success stories. You can try it's worth a shot People have wrote me and said that she also helped them so I would reach out to her um, her name is Jerry and uh, she runs the America's Taken Facebook page. So y'all can just look that up um, and it, it should be pretty easy to find. A lot of people are afraid to ask their adopted side of the family to, to see if they could help them. But if that's a process you're ready to do, um, don't be afraid to ask, you never know. Um, it's kind of like coming out the closet is what I'm seeing a lot of people who are adopted Don't like to talk about their adoption or haven't told anyone that they're adopted And I just want to let y'all know that it's nothing to be ashamed of like adoption Has actually made me who I am today 
and I have a great family that loves and supports me and to me blood doesn't always make family just be open with people and you never know what feedback you might get another step I would take is mentally prepare yourself for the good the bad the ugly you know everyone's situation is gonna be different um, mine it was a like the most positive outcome that you could possibly have like it's been incredible not everyone's story is going to be like mine you know you might not have best of luck you might find them and find out that they aren't pretty positive people or you know you, you might just run into any type of situation so just mentally prepare for everything that could or may not come your way you know don't get disappointed if they don't want to see you don't get disappointed if they're not who they who you expect them to be um i wouldn't set your expectations so high to where you get hurt because no matter the case no matter the cause it's not personal and you just have to think about where you're at now and the love that you have around you look at it like this you're looking at the way i looked at it was i was looking to find my biological family so i could know more about myself things in my genetics you know my things that are hereditary my health um other things like the way i act um why am i so hyper shit like that you know you have to think about um stuff that is different uh, about you that may be a dna trait i really wanted to look for them to find out more about myself and uh that i did for sure find out i found out that my grandfather is jamaican i found out that my grandmother is an apache indian like i just found out a lot of things you know so it, it's cool to know exactly who you are but you got to look at it like that um, like you're trying to find out more about you just don't set your expectations so high to where you're getting hurt or anything like that um, just go in it with a positive mindset and whatever the what a bird just landed on my like I was saying just go in it with a positive intention you know what I'm saying don't don't take it personal no matter what you do do not take it personal if you don't have someone to represent you when they when you find them I would find like a, a middle person like someone that can communicate just in case like they're like nah I don't want nothing to do with this you know have someone that maybe is a friend or close to you that can reach out to them for you so it's not you facing them like first on like just to respect each other's space you know what I'm saying like um because you got to think about it like they may not have been looking for you you know what i'm saying they they this is gonna catch them off guard it's a whole life change you know so you have to go in with the utmost respect you know what i'm saying just treat them how you would want to be treated i think i would be a little uncomfortable like reaching out to them directly trying to figure it out and just being like surprise it's me you know um i would i had someone to represent me and i feel like that went a lot smoother and then we connected but i wouldn't know how it would have went if i directly reached out to them i'm pretty sure it would have been positive in my situation either way but it just makes you a little more comfortable a little more at ease when somebody that is like acting as that middle person for you guys um in case there is you know anything weird going on well yeah guys i think that's pretty pretty much it as far as the steps that i took um if there's any steps that y'all think i missed that y'all had maybe some of y'all have already went on this journey and y'all did things a little bit different make sure to leave it down in the comments below let's help each other in this situation i know it's it's one of those journeys that can be really really scary and you don't know what to expect um but that's why i say like don't set your expectations so high because it can go right or left and um, just go in it with good intentions. Um, that way you're not let down, you know what I'm saying? No matter what you find out is a positive outcome. Um, you can turn any negative into a positive. So um, that's why I say it's a positive outcome. I wish you guys the best of luck in y'all's journey. Seriously, um, it has been, it has definitely changed my life and really, really taught me so much about myself, so much that I was missing and uh, kind of, I don't want to say made me complete because I was already a complete individual, but it 
taught me so many things that I needed to know that I wanted to know as like from where I come from and who I am as an individual like what makes my DNA either way you're gonna find out something more about you when you take these DNA tests and everything and just know that like even if it doesn't come quickly for you this is a journey and it could take a while sometimes it happens really really fast I've seen success stories happen faster than mine so just make sure you're prepared for it like I said mentally prepare know what you're getting into know what you're you're doing this for and really that's all you have to worry about if you got that down pat guys I, I'm pretty sure that you're gonna do um, you're gonna do just fine but yeah if I miss anything make sure to leave it in the comments down below I'll try my best to answer the questions that y'all leave me and I will see y'all in the next video until next time mob squad I'm out